Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Ryan's Ramblings, and this one's going to be a little different. Um, it's going to be a lot more serious than my usual entries. Um, I had wanted to do one where I just caught you guys up on what was going on in my life, but given recent events, um, this is one that I felt like, this video right now is something I felt like I needed to do. So I'm just going to um, be pretty serious here and cut the usual bull crap. So uh, let's get right to it. As just about everyone knows by now. Um, recently, um, beloved actor Robin Williams, one of my favorites of all time, um, died. And I was really sad when I found out he died. You know, he's a fantastic character and one of my favorites growing up. Brought so much joy to me and so many people. But when I found out it was suicide, and I just, my, I just, I, my heart broke. It's, it sucks. Um, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today is depression and suicide. Um, very serious stuff. So, again, if you guys um, want more funny stuff, watch the other crap. But um, this is something that I need to talk about because depression is an issue that doesn't get talked about enough. And because it doesn't get talked about enough, bad things like suicide happen. So, um, we're talking about it. And... Start by saying, you know, what what is depression? For those of you who have never um, or haven't had it, um, depression is it sucks. Um, I've struggled with it most of my adult life, and it's just something that you know. It starts off small, and sometimes like you don't even know what causes it, and then just like starts like taking over, like, and it's a legitimate like consuming thing. It's not something that people do for attention, which is a stereotype that pisses me the hell off, is that people just pretend to be depressed for attention, and it's so stupid. I hate it when people say that. It is not a cry thing. It is not something you do just for attention. You do it because you feel lonely. You feel like there's no one you can go to and open up to. You feel hopeless. You feel like there's no... that life sucks. Um, and it's not just that, like, you're, not just that you're sad about the pain, or that life sucks, but that you kind of get numb to it. Like, it all starts to, like, feel, like, it doesn't, like, you're numb to, not just the sad, the happy, too. Like, things you don't enjoy, you used to love, like, you don't love anymore. Like, I had stopped watching my favorite shows. I stopped playing. I had stopped enjoying video games. Like, these things that I loved doing, I stopped enjoying so, just because I was numb to everything. Just, I've had this hopelessness that things were terrible and they weren't going to get better anytime soon, maybe ever. And then there's the sense, another big part of depression is you get a sense of, what's the word I'm looking for? Inadequacy. Um, you don't, it's not just that you, you feel unloved. You feel like, oh, no one cares about you. No one, like, no one loves you. The people... What, that's all you're just like oh you just it starts off like yeah everyone hates me but then it gets to like people really like don't love me not and it's not just like that they don't love it's like that they just wouldn't miss you at all and I know it all it sounds crazy but if you're depressed that's how you start to feel and not just that you not only that you don't not love it's that you are inadequate that you are incapable of being loved and and respected by other people when I suffer, when I've had my battles with depression, I felt like, oh, I'm just some big old fat dude that people feel sorry for because I'm just that nice big old dude and people are just nice to me because they feel like they have to. Like, just, they don't really like me. They just feel like they have to be nice to me. Like, and it, all, like it sounds crazy. That's the thing. But when, when you're suffering from depression, these are the kind of thoughts that are the most rational thing in the world. They make perfect sense. They're all you know. And it's just, it's a tough thing. And so many people I know have struggled with this for so long. There are people I know who are, and it's not just, you know, oh, that guy, or this, like, so many people I know, and so many more I don't know. And that's the other thing. People who are, have depression feel like they have to take this on by themselves because no one else is going to want to help them, so they have to be strong and deal with it by themselves. And that can tend to be overwhelming. And unfortunately, that's how some, it leads to suicide for some people. People feel like they have to take this battle on by themselves. But I'm just here to say you don't have to, you know. So many people struggle. Some of the 
happy that the people I know have struggled with this. Some of the best, my best friends in the world have struggled. So many people have struggled with this. So if you are struggling with depression, we're not alone. And personally, I'm just going to talk about my battles. Um, because I have suffered depression my whole adult life. And even when I was a kid. Um, I got picked on a lot when I was a kid. And in middle school, I had some things happen. I'm not going to get into all that. Um, but I started getting very depressed. I stopped eating my favorite food. I stopped playing games. I stopped talking with my friends at school. And I felt like everyone hated me. I felt like my parents hated me. My teachers hated me. My friends hated me. And... And I just felt like, again, I felt like I was some big fat dude that no one cared about. And it was this really, really crappy feeling. And I, I cannot wish that, I would not wish that on anybody, my worst enemy. I would not wish that on, it was just this total, it's a sense of total despair is what it was. Um, luckily, at the time, um, I did have one friend who made an effort to say, to show me how he didn't even know I was struggling with this and you know um, it was my it was Chad who is now one of my best friends on planet earth who basically like he was always he was always nice to me and I felt like he actually legitimately cared and I I thought I did think about suicide I'd be lying if I said I didn't I thought several times about it um but I felt like Chad was like I felt like he was the one person who cared and Sometimes when you're depressed, it's just that one person, and that's all it takes. It's that one something, that one person. And, you know, I told him later on, hey, you, you saved my life, dude. You didn't even know it, but you did. And I will never, ever stop being grateful. And sometimes it, all it takes is just one person who will kind of get you off that proverbial ledge, so to speak. And there's just one person, one thing. After, you know, even after that, I was still depressed for a while. And then, you know, you find someone else, you realize, hey, someone else cares about me. Or, hey, I've got this. And then, you know, just realize that you have so many good things going for you. It can be whatever. It can be a, a job full of people who care about you. Me, personally, around that time, I found out that I have a God, a God of I who cares so much about me. But that doesn't have to be for everybody. But and that's a whole... That kind of ties along with my personal faith story, but that's a whole different vlog entirely. Um, but just there's so many reasons why. There's so many people who care about you. There's so many things that we all have going for us, and we don't even realize it. And, you know, you think, you know, once you get done with your first battle of depression, some people think, oh, it's just a one-time thing. But, you know, sometimes it comes and goes. Like, after I got done with it in middle school, you know, it still, it came and went. I got some very bad depression my sophomore year of college. So bad. And I don't even know what caused this. Oh, well, I do know what caused it, actually. Um, but that's a lot. And that's a lot of other things. Um, it got so bad that I, that I had to move out of my dorm and back home because I was so depressed and I needed that support system. And, you know, and still, I struggle with it some, it, it's been a couple of years since I've had it for an extended period, but there are just some days or weeks where I'm just like, man, it's hard. It's hard sometimes. So, um, if you are struggling with depression, I want you to know that you're not alone, and I am here with you always. So, if, how, how do we fight this thing? How do we fight, there's, two, well, there's two ways. If you have depression... My, my heart my heart breaks for you my heart goes out to you you are in my prayers um, you are loved you are so loved I don't even know who most of you are if anyone watching this has depression and I don't and you want to talk about something you can talk to me if you feel like there's no one else you can come to me I will listen I will not judge I will be up with you for 10 hours if you have to because I I know how it is, man. It gets it gets so hard. It's it's tough. You are to those who are struggling with this, whether I know you or I barely know you, or you're my best friends, or whoever you are, you are loved. You are so loved by so many people. You don't you that more than you'll ever know. And I realized that too. Is that I had so many people who cared about me. Way beyond what I could have ever imagined. And I just hope you, you guys, and it's not the external, 
it, it's one thing for them to like it to be external but it has to be you have to feel like that like people say if Robin Williams knew how many people loved him in his work would he have still done this well I mean I can never say but all that feel all that like oh we love we love we adore it you have you have the person has to feel it on the inside for that to matter and if you're watching this and have depression I want you to know that you just you are loved I hope you can feel how much you're loved just look around and like just take it in and start to feel how much you're loved and lastly you are not just are you loved you are worthy of being loved I am we are all I believe we are all deeply flawed human beings I am an incredibly deeply flawed human being but I have we all have qualities that are that so incredible about each and every one of us and it's all different that's what makes humans being human humanity so freaking special so we are all different unique beautiful people and that you all are worthy of being loved and it just uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry to go on it's just that this is such a near and dear thing to me um, and so if you do have depression please you you are loved you are worthy of being loved if you need someone to talk to talk to me shoot me a text a call a Facebook message send me a message here send me an email do whatever and just on any time of day I'm always here so um, if you know someone who has depression and whether you know it or not just my thing is to those of you who want to help just show people how much you care just just everyone I saw a quote one day that someone recently that said everyone's knowing a battle fighting a battle that you don't know a thing about and that's so true um, so I say hey show someone how much you care the people you care about let them know how much you care because you know maybe it, it could be something that makes their day it could be something that saves their life it's just so it's so important to let these people know how much you care because it just they need it some people need it they need it so bad um yeah that's all i have to say right now um if you have if any of you have anything you need to talk about struggling with depression struggling with other anything else um please let me know i am here for you um just and if you are my thoughts my prayers um they go out to you so that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching so much. Um, and I just, I just hope that we do what we can because it's a, it's an issue that doesn't get talked about a lot. And I feel like I want to start a conversation, and people need to be talking about this so lives can be saved. And just, all right. Well, that's all I got. I guess I'll catch you guys later.